Hey, it's Yudi, and today I would like to show you how to use pigments as a sampler. And if you don't know pigments, that's really a, an amazing, amazing synthesizer by Arturia. I have a complete course in my YouTube channel, so check it out. But right now, I just want to concentrate on one new feature that they have just added in 2.0. So if, uh, if you go to pigments, you, you'll see that you have two engines and each of them can load either analog or wavetable. And recently they just added a sample. And when you go to sample, it's not just a sampler, it's just a, it is a, a granular synthesis sampler. So I can turn that on and I can play with all the parameters here, but that's not the point of this video. This video is about loading your own samples. And so right now I have the pre-configured grand piano here and uh, that's what we have. Um, I can turn off the granular so it acts like a sampler. But if you go to this area here, you'll see that you have uh, like a library. You click this and you can select whatever sample that they already loaded in. And that's, that's okay. I mean, you can use whatever. Let's just select something. Okay, or we can select anything else. But if you want to load your own samples, you go to the top right here and select that folder icon. Right, so I have my uh, samples here. Let's just select something. I have like a music box thing here and we can select whatever sample we want. Uh, I'll just grab the first one. Double click. Cool. Now, um, that's, uh, that's the start. Now, go to edit and here you can, can tune the, the sampler. For example, we've loaded an A0. So I want to uh, adjust that. That will be my root note. I'll go all the way down here. And that's it. So now we're in tune. But of course I can transpose that to anything. I can go and, and you know, select whatever. So you can mess with that. that. That will be tune A. And now w w what's important here is that uh, uh, you, you Use your samples and make sure that they're, they're in tune. Ad otherwise, when you play C note, you'll get an A note or any, you know, something like that. That's, uh, that will be wrong, right? So uh, that's one. Playback A will be uh, normal or reverse, for example. And you can set the, the, the length here. And you can also do something like this. Very nice. So, or, uh, and we can loop it. So it can be one shot or a loop and so on. So uh, play mode forward and, and, you know, all that thing can be um, adjusted. So it's forward and backwards and we have a, a loop fade. So that's the playback. And then we have a mix knob here to, to have um, the gain, panning. You can clear the, the sample. Um, we don't want to do that and or copy it. Now, we see that we have different slots here. So I can go to slot B and load something else. Here. So let's go and take something else. Again, I want to use my own samples. So I'll, I'll do that again. And let's just select the same folder. And now I'll get something else. What did I do? Yeah, music box. And let's take something else. I don't know, this one. And again, that's a, uh, that's a D0, so I, I, I'll tune that, um, you know, accordingly. And 
again, I can go on through uh, all these uh, options here. But what what is interesting about this sampler is that I can go to mapping and select how these um, different layers be be played. So right now I'm playing B. I can go and play A. But I can also go and do something like uh, a sample picker. And I can, I can uh, you know, use any of my uh, functions here, LFOs, envelopes, to, to change that, um, to t change that knob. And if you have more samples, then it, it will, you know, go th through all of them and just uh, adjust that. So I can click the plus here and say, okay, that will be, you know, an LFO. So th that's pretty cool. But I can also go and do round robin. And that will mean that I'm just uh, alternating between those slots. So you can see the, the playback here. That's A, B, and so on. And I can go and do a random. That will be just, you know, anything. And you can see that I'm, uh, you know, just alternating between A and B. Now, these two guys here, key map and key velocity map, will just uh, allow me to spread those samples across my keyboard or, or velocities. And th that's the idea. So you can see that A will be played from uh, that octave to uh, from, from C0 octave to C1 octave. So I'm still in B. If I go one octave down, I'm in, I'm in A, and now I'm in B, right? So um, next, if I go to key velocity, again, I can select those, uh, the, the velocities that will uh, affect this. So this is pretty much it. I, I don't want to uh, do a long video here. That's the idea. And if I go to single, back to single, go to my, um, to my main and set the granular on yeah so that's that's it so um i think i'll do another video just to cover the granular and if you have any questions uh i just suggest you go to the manual no kidding so i'll, I'll just do another video when i have time so yeah, I'll see you in the next videos. If you like this video, if you like my channel, subscribe and uh, follow me in Facebook. I'll just put the links in the description. So uh, that's it for now. Thanks.